All right, let's get to this week's power rankings. And we're going to start at number 10 with the Mariners, who were not ranked last week. Yeah, the Mariners are, I just, I think they're a good team. Uh, they, they haven't been playing great lately, but with that pitching staff, if they can get, I, this is, this is the token statement for the Seattle Mariners with that pitching staff. If they can put up three or four runs a game, mm -hmm. you're going to win the majority of baseball games. So I, I like the team. They're not playing fantastic, but they are still leading the AL West. So I have them at number 10. All right. Move into number nine, down two spots, the Cubs. Yeah, the Cubbies are 26 and 22. Not not the best week, not not great, not bad. The Cubs are just uh yeah, had to slot them down a couple spots. Just um they got a lot going right, just not a great week record-wise, but Imanaga still continues to be his Lights nasty out. self. It is unbelievable to watch him pitch, but had to uh drop them two spots. All right, at number 8, also down two spots, the Brewers. Yeah, as the as the Cubs go down, so do the Brewers. Brewers losing a series to the uh, lost the weekend series to the Houston Astros there in Houston. Um, so yeah, they're still up there at the top of the NL Central. Just had to bump them down a little bit. Both them and the Cubs down two spots. All right, number seven, moving up three spots, the Royals. Twenty nine and nineteen. Dang. Had to bump them up because yeah. they are ten games over five hundred for the first time since they won the World Series. Wow. It has been a while, but the Royals are a lot of fun to watch. I would love to see them. I would love to see them. Why wait till the trade deadline? You know what you need. You need a guy that's, that can hit at the bottom of the lineup. Yep. They need another bat. They do. I love the top of their lineup. I love I, I love Franco and, and Bobby Witt and Salvi and Vinny P up there at the top of the lineup. It's a lot of fun. They need some depth. Yeah. Bad. Go out of peace. Go look for a guy like a, I know he, his season just started, and I know the. I'm just throwing a name out there. I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't know if the Mets are going to be sellers, but a guy like oh. JD Martinez. Oh, imagine that slotting into your lineup. I don't know, just Dang. a thought. But yeah, Royals here at number seven. All right, moving on to number six. Uh, probably the lowest I remember them ever being since I've been a part of this show on Power Rankings. Down two spots, the Braves. Yeah, Braves are just. They're not they're not firing all, on all cylinders mm -hmm. right now. They're 26 and 15. They are the Sunday night baseball game, as you all know. We record before that, so uh, time will tell if they win that game against the Padres. But yeah, I, uh, Acuna struggling. Yep. Um, they they're dealing with some injuries. Obviously, Strider out for the year. So this just isn't the Braves team that that we've become accustomed to over the last few years. So you're absolutely right. I, I don't know it for a hundred percent certainty, but it does feel like over the last mm. few years, this is the lowest that the Atlanta Braves have been. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Let's move to the top five at number five up four spots. You guys, the guardians. Yeah, this is, they deserve some love. And, uh, it took me a while to, to come around on them. Mm -hmm. Not, not in terms of, are they a good team, but where, where should they be ranked? Are they a great team? And for me, it was time to put them in the top five. They are 30 and 17. Jose Ramirez is really heating up at the plate. Josh Naylor is a Josh Naylor is becoming a, a star in Cleveland. Again, it's hard for guys to get the credit they deserve in Cleveland. It just is. I think Jose Ramirez is the most underrated superstar in baseball. I think Josh Naylor with his power and ability to, to hit clutch homers late in games, they just, they've been pitching well. They do it all. Steven Kwan is the American League version of, of Luis Arise. Mm -hmm. He's going to get you two knocks a game at minimum. He's hitting over 300. The guy's been really good. So yeah, guardians are in the top five for me up four spots. Okay. Let's move to number four down one spot. The Orioles. Yeah. The Orioles are 29 and 15. Mm -hmm. um, they're fine. They're in second place in the AL East. I do believe um, that they're, they're playing good baseball. Good win on Sunday against the, against the Mariners, but yeah, just Again, once you get into this top four or five, you're not typically slotting down because of something you do. It's someone but maybe else. Maybe of, of someone else that's that's jumping you a bit. But yeah, Orioles are right here at number four. Okay, at number three, down one spot, the Dodgers. Dodgers 31 and 17. Um 
Yeah, that offense is is so much fun. I, I still am a little mad that I went Saturday to watch that lineup and Mookie didn't play. That was a little disappointing. <laughs> yeah, that's actually <laughs> but, like. But you know who did it's play? Really funny. And is a, a reason that they're going to if if they want to win in the playoffs, they're going to need them. Walker Bueller started yeah. when I was there, and it was his by far his best outing since he's come back. He was nasty out there. Dodgers are here at number three. All right, at number two, down one spot, the Phillies. Yeah, Phillies are 34 and 14. They are rolling. A lot of fun to watch them play right now. Their rotation is great. Their offense is great. But they are here at number two. Because the best team in the American League is at right number now. one. Up four spots, the highest they have been in a long time, the New York Yankees. Correct. As you have been saying, the best team in the American League right now is the New York Yankees. They are 33 and 15. They are so much fun to watch. That lineup with Soto and Judge hitting back to back. Uh, Not to mention, they don't even have, they don't even have Garrett Cole back yet, but we're getting closer and closer to that. The talk was just, they just need to be good enough until the best pitcher in baseball comes back. Well, they have been better than that. They have been the best team in baseball right now. I truly believe that that offense top to bottom has been really good to me. The reason I, the reason I like them here a lot is because it's not just Soto and judge what, what John Carlos Stanton is now doing to be able to hit 250 with 11 homers and an OPS over 800. That's what they need him to be mm-hmm. desperately. He can't be this guy that is hitting around the 200 mark, striking out three or four times a game, running into a ball. He'll hit you 30 plus homers, but he's going to strike out a, a massive chunk of the time. That's not the case right now. He's back to being a really good hitter and they need that feared guy behind judge because then it changes everything. Then you're, you're not just pitching around Aaron judge because you don't want to face, you don't want to face John Carlos Stanton. So Mm. Carlos Rodon has been really, really good. Luis heel, by the way, 14 strikeouts, New York Yankees rookie record. Yeah. Things are just, Things are good right now for the New York Yankees, and they are here rounding out my top 10 power rankings at number one for the first time this year. So Seattle Mariners at 10, Cubs at nine, Brewers at eight, Royals at seven, up three, Braves at six, down two. You got the Guardians starting off the top five at five, up four spots, Orioles, Dodgers, Phillies at two, Yankees at one. Thanks for watching. If you like catching up on the latest news around Major League Baseball, weekly interviews with Atlanta Braves legend John Smoltz and your favorite MLB players, make sure you hit that subscribe button.